This video is sponsored by Cryptomus. More of them later in the video. So you are a programmer. You code a lot, you create stuff, you solve problems, or maybe you are a student. You have the skills and talent, but you don't have the money. You want to start an online business, but you don't know where to start. You want to build an e-commerce for a client, but you don't know how. What if I tell you that there's a way to monetize your programming skills, even if you are a student or you are a working professional looking for a side hustle? And in this video, that's exactly what we are going to talk about. There are a lot of ways on how you can make money as a programmer. I remember when I was in college, I used to tutor computer science students and programming students. I help them with their assignments and projects. So even if you are a student, there's really no excuse. Pagsabayin natin ang diploma at diskarte, di ba? You know, I love creating stuff. But you know what's the biggest problem with that? It takes a lot of time and effort to be able to make money out of it. But you are a programmer, right? So why not just build your own application for your business? And with the help of Cryptomus, it is very, very, very easy to achieve. Cryptomus is a payment gateway, meaning that it handles, processes, and manages the transactions from your customer to your online business. But it is not just a simple payment gateway. It is also a cryptocurrency wallet wherein you can securely store your cryptocurrency, convert, or even trade them. I'm gonna show you guys how you can easily integrate it into your website. Bear with me, this is very simple. You don't have to be a coding genius to do this. So let's start with the first step. Step 1. Create a project. You can integrate it using different kinds of frameworks, even just Node.js it will do. But let's use React. Step 2. Go to Cryptomus.com and register. You can sign up via phone number or your email address. Just type it here, then you will receive an email with your code. Enter it and submit. Step 3. Add a merchant account. Basically, this is your project or business name. Step 4. Buy a domain. Your business is your baby, so choose a name that resembles it. Step 5. Set up necessary domain configurations. This is to verify your domain is really yours and is valid. Number 6. Wait for project moderation. This step is crucial. Someone from Cryptomus will contact you and help you with the integration of Cryptomus into your website. Step 7. While you are waiting for the project moderation, start building your application. When the project is done, it will look something like this. Just don't mind the design for now. You can design your own application, you can design it however you like, but for now, let's do this one. Step 8. Get your API key. Now, what is API key? API key basically, it is a password that's given to you to give access to their service. This is an example of what you are going to request to Cryptomus. As you can see, you need a merchant ID and an API key. Merchant ID is this. Now, when you already completed the project moderation step, you will now get your API key. So, step 9 or the last step is to refer to the documentation. Read the documentation. It is a good practice for us programmers to be good, uh, to be better at programming if we can read the documentation better. So let's practice reading the documentation uh, we, regardless of the technology. So here, at the documentation here, uh, we have this getting started section. So in this getting started section, we already got the API keys. So we already got the keys. And now let's go here at the request format. 
So in this request format, we have an endpoint. So this is where our request is going to and also where we are receiving the request. And if we scroll down here, we can see this sample request. So basically, this sample request here is a CURL, but since we are using JavaScript, so we can uh, utilize the fetch function of it. So basically, this is our uh, link. This is our link. This is the method, headers, and also the body. Okay, so in this body section here, this is where the information of the product will go to. So this is the sample request. And if we, if we convert that to fetch, it will look something like this. So first, let's call the fetch, and then let's paste the link here, and then let's get the method, and the method of this is post. And then after that, this dash hedge flag here, these are headers. So we can just type here headers, and then we're just gonna put this information as an object. And just make sure that it is this is a string and then we're also gonna do that in the api keys and the content type and then the last thing here is the body so basically this body this is the information of the product that we are going to send in the cryptomus let's go to the next section which is payment you can create an invoice and this is basically uh just the order so as you can see, this is the endpoint, and we are gonna send a payment. We have three required parameters, and this is amount. So the amount, the exact amount of it, the currency, and also the order ID. So these are the three required parameters, but there are other parameters here that you can also pass in your body. So this is the sample request with the product information. So as you can see, there's an amount, currency, and order ID. If we go back to our dummy data here, so the amount is 300 and also add the other one like currency and order ID. That's how you can send a request or payment. And now, Cryptomus will send you a response with this details. This is the example response. So you have currency, um, like payment status, final, URL of your order right and you have more example here so just make sure to refer to this documentation because this is very 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 important programming is such a high demand skill and if you can code you can build a lot of things and that's what makes possibilities endless start your business now with cryptomus and visit them at cryptomus.com once again thank you cryptomus for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching I'll see you on the next one